All right, guys, welcome back. We have Monday. We have some new leaks that were leaks already leaked on Saturday in the new tournament that Decade held. So leaks for the September pack as far as of this point, we know that we will get the Aroma cards, the Aroma Lilith cards, which, and we've talked about this um, concerning the leaks from last week. If you have not seen this video, then go check that out in the top right corner. By the way, if you want to support my channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the thumbs up and the notification bell, especially the notification bell and the thumbs up would help me out a lot thanks in advance so we have talked about the rosalina cards which can be used in rika we have rika already at full power in the game and it will be more powerful in the future and funnily enough in the video where i talked about which cards i expect next you can also find this on the channel it's uh, posted has been posted uh, last week uh, where i go and talk about what i expect in the next pack to come we talked about one specific archetype that would make sense together with the um, aroma little of cards that we could also get and it turns out we are actually getting this archetype and the archetype i'm talking about is ragna raika so ragna raika for any one of you who is not aware is an archetype of reptiles i think insects and something else plants or something plants so it's reptiles insects plants this is what they are basically yeah inheriting here when it comes to the um, to the type and then they have uh, as you can see this is quite a lot of uh, quite a big package basically um these are cards or this is a card that we, uh, has not been released yet and this i think is a card that has been been released a bit later on um could be the case that we also get uh, this a new one that uh, just has released in the ocg because konami just sometimes wants to seemingly give us the complete uh, cards here we have um, all the way from a link two into a link three we have another link three and then we also have a link four as well as a link five here very interesting and they kind of and we can quickly take a look at before talking about what we can uh, potentially do with these cards they kind of basically bridge into each other you can uh, see this right here it's it's so crazy with this new ad block stuff it just does not work uh, but yeah we have Ragnar with a skeletal soldier, two monsters including an insect plant or reptile monster. You can target one or Riker monster in a way if you special summon it in defense position so you can then climb up even more. And then if this card is in a grave you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control. Place it on the bottom of the deck and if you do a special summon this card. And we can see uh, right here um, that we also have this on the link free basically. You can manage two insect plant or reptile monsters from a grave at one Riker raptor or Riker trap from your deck to your hand. If this card is in a grave you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control place it on the bottom of the deck and if you do a special summon this card so the cool thing is that you can always resummon these uh, link monsters to climb up even higher into uh, then the higher monster ragnar raika link monsters here uh, up to the star sovereign uh, the link five if a monster is a special summon from your opponent's deck and or extra deck you can destroy two monsters on the field very strong here and then is the, if this card is in your graveyard once again you can target one insect plant or reptile monster you control place it on the bottom of the deck and if you do a special summon this card so you can always get these cards back if they go to the graveyard which is obviously crazy getting a level or rank 5 link 5 back for free basically is very very strong and then you have these other Ragnarika cards the normal ones that normally always have a banish effect you can special summon this card from your hand by placing one of your banished insect plant or raptor monsters on the bottom of your main deck and then you can also if this card is sent to the graveyard as material for a Ragnarika link monster you can target one level 4 or lower insect plant or raptor monster in your graveyard and special summon it in defense so it's it's all about banishing stuff and then getting the stuff um, back this is the core uh, spell card basically all insect plants and reptile monsters on the field gain 300 attack and defense also all other monsters on the field lose 300 attack and defense and then this is very strong you can activate one of these effects add one right right card monster from deck to your hand and then discard one card special summon one of your right card monsters that is banished or in your hand or graveyard in a defense position so uh, you can for example discard something and then revive it on the next turn so a very strong in engine piece here and then we have these base guys here which the most important ones are the ragnar right the evil seed and then the beetle the evil seed you can special summon this card from your hand by sending one insect plant or raptor monster from your hand to the graveyard if this card is normal or special summoned you can add up to two of your Riker cards with different names that are banished and or in your deck to your hand except this one then banish one Riker card from your hand so you can grab your Ragnar Riker bloom and your samurai beetle which then you can banish the beetle because you have to via the seed and then for example the bloom can just uh, bring the Ragnar Riker samurai beetle from the banish back to the field giving 
giving you another body that you can use to start link climbing into your Ragnarika monsters. And you might be asking, okay, so what are we using this for? Is this a standalone archetype? It isn't really. And the funny thing is that we have talked about this deck last week already because we talked about Ragnarika um, plant link here using the new Aroma Lilith cards that we will also get. And we have seen this already, but as I already said, we also get uh, the Ragnarika cards. And here you could see a list that kind of tells you what this could look like. Obviously, you could also play it differently if you want to, but we are playing triple Ragnarika, the evil seed, because this is basically the starter. Expe expect this to be an ultra rare. There's one samurai beetle, and then there's the Ragnarika bloom, basically giving you the ability to perform this combo that I've just described to you to get some additional bodies. We have the Ragnarika skeletal soldier in here, so we are only using the uh, link two basically <clears throat> to um, give us extra bodies that we can then use in here uh, in Rika to go into our end board. And what could this end board look like? I also uh, opened up a guide here from um, uh, Jessica, Jessica Robbins. Uh, she made this here with only a loci. Um, so if you're not aware, loci is this normal summon uh, monster, um, which basically has no effect that you are using in uh, the Rika strategy. So we can quickly take a look at this one. This is the Sun Sheet Genius loci. And uh, she's basically showing what you can achieve with uh, this combination. This is basically the same list as Julius Schwarzkopf used here. Um, she just played in, this was like a German Open, she's a German National Championship. Um, she was just playing the um, UK National Championship and I think won, uh, won second place with um, kind of the same list. So a list like this could end up on something like this. We have a sacred free breeze Hyperiton, which is either, and you can see this, either a spell negate or a monster negate. This is an XYZ monster under this. Hyperiton here, so you can decide what you want to detach in order to either negate a spell or negate a monster. You have this Omni Negate, Thidion King Regulus. You have this um, Bengal Lancer here that can bounce a card and then you um, take damage equal to the attack points. Um, you have your um, yeah, Rika Konkon here on the side, which can tribute an opponent's monster uh, for the activation of a Rika card, so you can get rid of one of these. You have Rika Sheet, which can take uh, control of an opponent's monster, but you could also use this combination of sheet and concon using the sheet to tribute one of your opponent's monsters and then steal another one of your opponent's monsters very strong you still have three unknown cards in the hands indicated by the crosser designator you have a mudan for follow-up the humid winds you can also play one uh, play pay 1000 life points and add another aroma lilith card i think to the hand which is also another follow-up um, point of interaction you have the rika queen strana which at any point you could tribute either uh, through the concon but you can also use and you can't see this here but in the graveyard there is Rika Princess. If you're not aware, Rika Princess in the graveyard is a monster negate that needs to tribute a Rika monster. So you can just go ahead and Rika Princess tribute this Rika Queen Strana for an, uh, for an additional monster negate. And the Queen Strana would then summon the boss monster. Um, I'm not quite sure at the moment how the boss monster is called. It's the, um, the teardrop. Yeah, teardrop the Rika Queen. And she can then once again detach also one material, target one monster on the field and tribute the monster. So as you can see, this ends up on quite a lot of interruptions only starting with one loci which is a three of a new deck that you can also get access to via other cards so very strong normally if you can achieve this board your opponent will not really be able to break it because um, we have a lot of hard negates here and then some softer ones but this is normally enough to clear every opponent's uh, attempt to break your board basically um, the problem though is and this obviously is also a problem and this is why you don't really see Rika around on the ladder a lot is we are living in the world of Maxi and against Maxi this deck unfortunately is not that great and this will also likely not really change with the new support cards of Ragnar Raika and the Aroma Little stuff but yeah this is definitely the Rika pack if you want to call it at least um, as of right now um, for me it's um, as of right now a skip, a skip pack I'm really hoping for the Tempai for the Tempai Dragon stuff honestly because this is the next big thing that will definitely come to Master Duel and will make a big impact in the meta um, um, the Ragnar Raka cards and Aroma Lilith will probably only be used in Rika, will not really constitute a standalone deck, but you could play it as one if you wanted to but this is just not that effective we can also expect this to be like the biggest archetype in the upcoming selection pack because you can see right here we have really a lot of cards it's at 12 cards or maybe 11 depending on what if we get this card as well but this is a big chunk so a lot of the ultra rares will probably be from this archetype also it kind of lends itself to being an ultra heavy archetype because we have a lot of like boss link boss monsters this one probably be an ultra rare the seed probably be an ultra rare because 
because it's the core card of the deck and then maybe also this one here it remains to be seen maybe also the spell card that in a pure deck you will probably play three of this but yeah you will probably play this as some sort of um, like a 60 card Rika deck definitely strong but then not again not that meta changing because we have maxi still around but yeah we are getting the ragnar Raka cards guys you can let me know in the comments whether you are excited for them were you waiting for a long time let me know in the comments what you think we will see each other in the next one